All right. There is some good news and some bad news for Tri-State shoppers today. The good, the reopening of hundreds of more stores in both Ohio and Kentucky. The bad news, though, Consumer Reporter John Metteries tells us in this rebound report that some retailers are not coming back. Tri-State shoppers and store owners are celebrating the reopening of stores in northern Kentucky. But for some of those store owners, the celebration could be short-lived. The balloons are out. The doors are open. At a third of the shops at the Crestview Town Center, shopper Lauren Dressman is thrilled Kentucky stores are finally reopening. I'm happy that I have some options. No one is happier than the employees of Learning Express Toys, currently offering curbside pickup. Owner Kelly Stevens is getting ready to welcome back customers next week. It'll be very helpful. We're looking forward to seeing our customers again and seeing what the new normal looks like. But that new normal is looking very different here at Crestview Hills. Joseph Beth Booksellers, one of the anchor stores, is now closed permanently. So is Charming Charlie and a number of other small shops. Now, a lot of retailers were struggling long before the pandemic hit. Now, after a two-month shutdown and very slow reopening, some of them will likely not reopen at all. A report in Business Insider lists the devastating number of stores gone for good. Pier 1 is closing all of its 500 stores, including Kenwood, Rookwood and Florence. J.C. Penney closing 242 locations, one third of its stores. GameStop closing 350 stores. Papyrus shutting all 250 stores. Forever 21, 178 stores closing. Bose, all 125 stores, including Kenwood. And A.C. Moore, all 145 stores. Back at Learning Express, Kelly Stevens is determined to rebound from the shutdown, though she admits it won't be all rainbows and unicorns in the months ahead. It's a very tough, tough environment to be in. It's very scary, but I'm trying to stay positive. Check your store's Facebook page to make sure they are reopening. As for Joseph Beth, their Rookwood store in Norwood remains open. Covering the rebound, John Matteris, WCPO 9 News.